Hello wonderful people, I hope you're doing great wherever you are in the world. If this is your first time here, my name is Hannah and today we are going to be going over five must know tips on how you can make your action camera footage look better. A little note before we begin, throughout this episode we are going to cover some real basic stuff, common sense that we can all be a little bit guilty of forgetting, as well as some highly requested info that I see consistently in the comments section, so make sure to stick around to the end. First up, a question. What is synonymous with action cameras? Selfie sticks. From jumping selfies, Insta360 fake drone shots, your selfie stick, in my opinion, should be your action camera's best friend. A simple thing to always keep an eye out for is the orientation of your selfie stick, especially when using the 360 mod. Sadly, the invisible selfie stick can suddenly lose its magic powers if it's tilted slightly and it will taint your otherwise great shot. As long as it's perpendicular to the lenses, it will be invisible. Right here is the blind spot, so if it's tilted, not invisible. Got it? That seems simple, but it's so easily forgotten and prohibits the best results in the moment. And the easiest way to check it is just hook up your 1R to your phone and preview. And speaking of selfie sticks, I have a really cool update and a special gift which could be one of yours. I'll get to that after these next top tips, so let's go on to the next one. Next up, rules for slow-mo. Slow motion is great when you want to relish all the details of the moment, add dynamic rhythm and enhance the emotion of a video, particularly action scenes that people often capture on these kind of cameras. Wake surfers, cliff jumping, snowboard flipping or flirtatious running. Shooting in slow-mo means increasing the FPS. Slow-mo for action cams is usually going to be 4K 60 FPS and with our 4K mod you can even crank that up to 1080 to 100 FPS. Yes. However, please save slow-mo for these kind of action scenes only. Don't shoot in slow-mo if you don't need to. Watch any action cam review or comparison video, you will always see a section about low light performance. That's because the sensor is so small that without the perfect shooting conditions, you will see a lot of flicker and or noise. But there is an easy way to overcome this issue when you're shooting with your 1R. If you're shooting in low light, just hop over to settings and manually adjust the exposure. In low light conditions, anything slower than two times your FPS, shutter speed will result in fuzzy looking footage. Therefore, the general rule is that shutter speed should be around two times your FPS in order to achieve a more cinematic look, as it were. After setting this, preview the view on your phone and give the camera a little wiggle. If it looks fuzzy, increase the shutter to four times the FPS, give it a wiggle again, view on the phone, still not perfect, times the FPS by eight for your shutter speeds. This is for video, but remember for pictures, you can always just choose night shot and no need to fiddle around with settings. Top tip number four, the penultimate tip in this top five concerns this area of the camera. Firstly, this is gonna sound really stupid, but trust me, this has ruined too many good shots first time around and happens more times than you'd imagine. Before you shoot, check your lens and give it an insurance clean. Whenever we are shooting anything in-house with our team, it's the final step before we hit that record button. Super, super important. Get this in your head. Wipe the lens before you start shooting. And whilst we are in this region of the camera, it's a good time to mention, in the case that you missed it, we've teamed up with Freewell to create a range of ND filters. Why and when would you use an ND filter? If you're shooting in super bright conditions, ND filters can control the amount of light entering the lens. Now the shooting tips are covered, it's time for the last important piece of the puzzle exporting, delivering the goods. Whenever you have any file, you're going to deal with bitrate settings. What is bitrate? Well, bitrate is the amount of data held within a second of footage. In a nutshell, the higher the bitrate, the higher the quality. It's something I keep seeing in the comments sections of our videos, like, what are your bitrate settings? Why do my videos not look like that when I export? Well, when you're using your 1R, you're gonna be exporting from one of the following places during your editing workflow. Either the mobile app, 
NSA360 Studio or any other third-party editing software. Instead of going into a lengthy spiel about bitrate settings, we've made this table with some of our recommended bitrate settings for different platforms across the different devices. Again, this is from our experience, they may differ for you, however, pause this video. Screenshot this table, save it in your phone, a desktop folder, put it in your pocket, wherever, but you can use it as a reference when you're exporting and I hope this helps. So we are at the end of this episode and this is usually where I thank you for watching and ask you to do all the usual YouTube stuff, but today I've got a little added extra to conclude our time together. In section one, I mentioned about some selfie stick news. Well, Joby have just launched this bad boy, the Joby Telepod Sport, which is compatible with the One R, as you can see on the little box there. Inside you'll find all these goodies, a really sturdy selfie stick with a hand strap and a good sturdy tripod. I've tested these out, they're great, and the good guys over at Joby said, Hannah, please feel free to do a little giveaway, choose a winner and we'll send one for free. So if you wanna win, comment what you would shoot using this accessory, like this video, and subscribe to our channel. If you haven't already, I will be checking if you've done all of the steps. So I wish you good luck and I look forward to your comments. I'll put a little pinned comment at the top of this video explaining the closing date. So keep your eyes peeled, get your comments in and follow the rest of the guidelines. But until then, chase adventure and I'll see you next week.